Well, hello everybody! Happy New Year! I don't think I've done a video since the beginning of New Year. Um, anywho, welcome to my channel, the Lizzie Sparkle channel. Uh, I've got a new little setup going on in front of me. I've got a soft light box, yay! And I've got a new camera! It is the Canon G7X Mark II camera, and this is odd. I'm trying like to look at the lens and not look up. Well, I'll probably end up looking up just so I can see. And the cat is having a field day back behind me. Alrighty, so today's video is going to be a big collective haul, no big surprise there, um, from Ulta and Sephora. So, it's really hot right now. I am sitting beside the wood burning stove and I am wearing my Leonardo Ninja Turtle onesie. So, whew, I'm feeling the heat now. Okay. So, anyway, let's get to the haul, and let me just do this, Ugh, okay, whew, alright, much better. Okay, so also I'm going to try to do this without editing out anything, so it'll just be like a, a continuous video, and I'm trying to read what it says on the screen. All I know is that it's recording and I think I'm at a minute and 41 seconds. So let's get on with this right now. So, um, I guess this won't be in any particular order. It'll just be like me grabbing stuff out of my big cardboard box. And here we go. So first up, I got the Juvia's Place. Was it the Nubian 2 palette from Ulta and this is one of those things where it wasn't really what I wanted, but I wanted a Juvia's Place palette because I was about to hit platinum and I had to add something to my cart. And the one that I wanted, <coughs> oh gosh. Okay, choking. The one I wanted was sold out. So this is the one I got. And I will say that the green in this, the Egypt color is phenomenal. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now, which I've got this, I am just loving my eye look, by the way. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, and this cat is just like crazy right now. But anyway, I use this palette, I use the Lime Crime palette that has, oh my gosh, she is like attacking the back of my, my pajamas. Okay, I use the grass color from the Lime Crime birthday palette, and I use the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition palette. Yeah. Oh, oh and I also used, which color is it? What's the name of it? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, fun. Zuri is like my brow highlight, and then I threw some Makeup Revolution Mermaid highlighter over that, and oh my gosh, she is just like attacking my back right now. It's like a little kitty massage, but in attack mode. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I, I don't know what it is. I turn on the camera and she goes crazy. <sighs> okay, anyway, so this, yes, great. Um, I will say, even though it's not the one I wanted, it's way too neutral for my liking, it is a wonderful quality palette. However, I will say that like half of them are pressed pigments, which are not exactly the most eye-friendly things to put on your eye, but whatever. Um, use at your own discretion. Okay, so I'm just going to stack everything right behind me. Oh my gosh, she is going crazy. Um, okay, crud, okay. And then these were on sale, and it's the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Eyeliner, and I got the color Gold Rush. And it's a very pretty gold eyeliner, which I'm also planning to use as like an eyeshadow, and she has joined me on camera as usual so that will go back there and I can't really oh there she goes she I have these little paper flower things that I made for oh my gosh for like my little background here because I'm making several of these and then I'm going to like hang them up on the wall behind me um in another room but I my cat is insane she was playing soccer with one, and now she's just like running back and forth 
as you can probably hear. Anyway, that is what's going on. We have a wild cat on the loose. Okay, so next up, we have the Urban Decay by Special Effects, a little lip topper stuff in Copycat. Again, that was on sale, I think it was like $10. These things are like $11 and $10. I can't remember which is which, but anyway. And then I got the one in litter, which this was what I wanted. This one in, hold on, in White Life. I got White Life. So these two were ones that I really wanted that every time there was a 20% off sale, I was debated getting these, but I held off and I'm glad I held off because I ended up getting them for half the price they were originally. So yay! So, awesome. And then I got the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dush Shadow in, what's that? Recharged. So, I was debating between this and Solstice, but I already have Solstice in the powder form. So I was like, I don't really need that because it's going to be like the same thing, just in a liquid. So, and then they also had like two others that were, I was interested in, Magnetic and Vega. But those are in the like Moon Dust Shadow Palette. So I was like, uh, again, have them in the powder form. So this, this was a good bet. So I got it. And I think that one was $11. And I think all the rest of them were $10 or was the eyeliner 11 Either way, they're like $10 and $11. Okay, so, and also, they had this. Um, I think this was actually from another Ulta order, but still, it's, it's from Ulta, too. Um, it's Urban K Starfire Heavy Metal Glitter Liner Trio Set, and this was on sale for $19.50, and, in, like, what's included with it is the Midnight Cowboy. I had to think about it for a while. It's a very popular color. I should know this. This is like an Urban Decay original color that's like followed throughout like all their products. Anyway, the Midnight Cowboy eyeliner, um, and this alone by itself retails for $20, and you could get the trio, which has two colors that are not sold separately. They're like new to this collection, and I know one of them is called like Starfire. Well, I guess I'll just have to take it out to find out for sure. But it's like, um, oh, well, this one's called Volume. This is like a pinky color. It's Volume. And then this other one is called, now this one is Starfire, and it's like the bronzy color. Anyway, so you get three for like less than the price of just the Midnight Cowboy one. So, a uh, hello, bargain, yes, please. Because I was actually considering buying the Midnight Cowboy at some point since it's that goldy color. But then I was like, well, I also considered buying this with like a 20% off. But again, I held off because I was like, this is a holiday thing. And sure enough, it went down like I thought it would. So yay! Um, awesome. So, let's see. I think I already showed this off in a previous haul. It's the Steeler Glitter and Glow Highlighter in Queen. I'm pretty sure I showed this off already. It just kind of mixed in with all this other stuff because this is all like recent college. Did I show this one off? This is the Too Faced um, Peel Off Glitter Eyeliner, Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner, and Kitty Glitter. Probably have showed this off. I can't even remember. Um, pink Glittery Eyeliner, Kitty Glitter, my favorite game in the casino. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I showed that in the video because I remember just saying the whole thing about Kitty Glitter in the casino. Then I, have I showed this one off? I can't remember. Well, anyway, it is the J-Cat Beauty 3D Eye Topper, Holographic Eye Topper in, what color is this? Because I have one of these before called Wink Tink. This one is called Unicorn Hype, and it's the purpley, the pinky purple color. So this is super pretty. And by the way, I am wearing Wink Tink as one of the toppers to kind of like do the halo effect on my eyes. Which I went with this like whole green and blue vibe because of, again, Leonardo. So that's my jam right now. I've always loved Leonardo. He was always my favorite Ninja Turtle. Well, actually him and Michelangelo, but Leonardo ultimately won. Um, so what's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Uh, I know everybody has a favorite Ninja Turtle because, I mean, come on. Come on. Everybody loves Ninja Turtles. Don't deny it. Okay, so 
get it. Um, I got this. What brand is this? Is this that Lottie London? Yeah, I think it's Lottie London. It is the Eiffel. I can't read the packaging. Anyway, it's like the Eiffel um, glitter eye topper stuff in which I'll have it in the description down below but it is in the color that's sad I cannot read that again I'll put it in the description down below but this y'all this is a like practically a dupe for one of the Stila glitter and glow eyeshadows which maybe I'll make a separate video about that probably will um yeah so I'll like swatch it compared to the Stila one and show the comparison okay and then I got another one and can I read the color of that? Nope. Oh, it's called fire. This one's called fire. It looks like but it's like blue. So it's not what you would normally think of as fire unless you think of like the blue at the bottom of the flame of the fire. Anyway, it's pretty. Alright. And then Oh yeah, I showed these, these little, whatchamacallit, didn't I show these? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did in the last, again, I cannot remember, my mind is like shot. The J Cat Beauty Vanity Goddess Chromatic Pigments in Enchantress and you know, Cornipia. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I showed these off. Um, played around with them just a little bit. I should make a video about that. Um, okay, let's see. We got, oh yeah, I think I showed this one too. Steal the Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in Ballet Baby. Pretty sure I showed that off in another haul. Um, okay. I'm really not prepared. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I also got the Urban Decay Elements palette. And again, this is something that I'd really, really, really been wanting. But I knew it would eventually go on sale, and it did. And I think this is like $26, and yeah. So I'm so happy to have this. Oh, this made me super happy to get. Um, and again, something I debated getting when I had 20% off, but uh, I was like, oh no. Urban Decay always has sales on their palettes. Like anything that's like not like your typical naked palette goes on sale within just a few months and here we are just a few months after it was released and ta-da! Awesome. And did I show this? Probably. Probably show this. The Makeup Revolution Jewel Collection Palette in Deluxe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I showed this. So this is like a repeat haul because I had everything like clustered together in a box. Yeah, I know it showed that off. Um, and then, so I guess that's it for like the Ulta haulage. So let's go into the Sephora haulage. So I got this while they were on sale. This is the Sephora collection. Um, give me glitter silicone applicators. They're like these little, like they're similar to like what you would think of like as a brush head but they're like straight up silicone and you can use them to like apply glitter and they work pretty good like instead of using your finger that way you can like dab on the glitter and you know how like when you do that like sticks to your finger like more of it sticks to your finger than anything well the bulk of it like when you use silicone applicator the bulk of it comes off onto your lid and so you're not wasting a lot of product so it they're pretty good. I think these were like six dollars when they were on sale. They're part of like one of the weekly wows. So I no regrets. No regrets. You know, usually I don't go for gimmicky tools, but this awesome so far. And then I think I had or I was going to receive this. Like I was getting ready to receive this the day after my previous haul. Like it was due to arrive. But when I received it. It was broken so I had to send the broken one back and then they sent me a replacement pretty quickly but it was around Christmas like it was Christmas Eve when I received it broken so they shipped one out a few days after Christmas and it is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsession palette which I finally have it like so I'm 
very content with all the ones that I have so far. I have this one, I have the ruby one, and I have the gemstone obsession palette, which is so pretty. They're all so pretty, but I, I'm like so happy I have all these now. So yay, like all the ones out, like I really wanted. Okay, and then, well, I got my little birthday gift, which I chose the Glam Glow Hello Sexy um, Super Mud and Glow Starter set. So, yay. Can't wait to try that out. And then, finally, yeah, I think this is the final thing that I haven't shown before. I got the Too Faced Now and Then palette from, well, yeah, the Now and Then palette, um, while it was, like, on a weekly WOW special for, like, $29 or $29.50, which at first, I was kind of like, meh, about, like, when this first was released. I thought the concept was cool, but I was kind of like, meh. Mm? Do I really need it? Probably not, but like for the price, I was like, heck yeah. And then I got to thinking, like it has like all these shadows up here that are from like 1998. I remember that year quite well, a little too well at times, but yeah. So I was like, this is kind of like a reminiscent thing. Like I didn't know about Too Faced back then, but there were, like, I had a lot of teen magazines, and they always had, like, the makeup styles. I always loved the little makeup styles that they always had in the, like, editorials and whatnot. So, I was like, hmm, from the, for, like, nostalgic sake. Yeah. And plus, it has some really pretty colors. Like, the pinks are really pretty, and, like, they're glittery and shimmery. There's a few mattes, which I don't care a thing in the world for mattes. Just not my vibe. I will use them, but they're just not my vibe. But it has so many like glitters and shimmers and oh my, just ooh, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it so much. So, love it. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up this video for now and I think I'm actually able to keep this for under 20 minutes, so yay! Okay, on to the next set of videos. There's gonna be more videos come obviously, so stay tuned! Okay, thanks, bye!